Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get a salon blowout at home. So I'm going to be using two different hair dryers to show you guys that you can use whatever you have and try to make it work. I'm going to be using the Revlon brush blow dryer on the bottom sections of my hair. And then for the top, I'm just going to be using the regular hair dryer. This is a Durachi. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to put in my hair is this Pureology um, leave-in conditioner. Um, this helps with everything. I mean, it helps with porosity. It helps with uh, shine. So it's just really, really awesome. And I also put it on the ends. And I'm just going to run my fingers through. I'm not really going to brush it through. I just want to be really, really gentle. Then I'm also going to be putting in the Monet Blowout Cream. This stuff is bomb. Like, so, so, so good. And by the way, my hair is probably about 50 to 60% dry already. I just kind of let it um, dry when I was doing my makeup. So, I was thinking about that much of the Blowout Cream. That may be a lot for some people, but... I really like this stuff. This stuff is honestly awesome. I'm applying this all over. I go up to my roots. And last but not least, I put in this agave um, oil treatment. I put more of this in um, at the end, but I do like to put a little bit in my ends. And like I said, I apply this to my roots also because I am pretty dry and um, my lighten pieces go all the way up to my roots. I have highlights, so just want to make sure I'm conditioning everything. So like I said, I'm going to start with my bottom section and I'm going to be using the Revlon hair dryer. Um, that hair dryer is amazing. I just want to show you two different um, tools that you can use in case you don't have um, that particular blow dryer. You know, I just wanted to show you the regular techniques I use if you just have a regular hair dryer. I'm just going to section my hair. And I'm just going to clip it with one of these clips. And I always like to have a lot of clips with me, so I always start in the back section. So I always clip up the front section so I can really focus on the back. So I'm going to show you guys one section of my hair in real time, and then I'm going to fast forward um, the rest of the section. So this is the section dried, it's really shiny, it looks really nice, but honestly this is not really the blowout style that I'm looking for, so I'm not even going to use this blow dryer anymore. I'm going to show you um, how I like to do my more bouncy um, blowouts. This is kind of more just like sleek and straight type of blowouts. I know a lot of people have done bouncy ones, but I'm not really crazy about this for the bouncy blowouts. For regular blowouts, this is absolutely amazing. So I'm just gonna take a regular round brush. I'm just gonna show you guys what I do. So I just like to get it in the brush like that. I like to put it at the top, twist the brush, and bring the hair on the other side like that. Then 
then I just leave it on the brush for a few seconds. And this is, like I said, just to get more of that bouncy blowout. You let it go. See that nice bounce? Perfect. I take the front section and I just do the same thing. So I'm going to show you guys one more time how I wrap the brush. The brush at the top, turn it over and make sure your hair is at the bottom. And then always make sure to dry your roots first and then go in and dry the rest of your hair. show you guys when I get to the top and the front sections. Okay guys, so this is the bottom section done. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take a scrunchie. This is the one I like. I like the ones that are like a fabric so it doesn't leave a dent in your hair. I just put my hair around it. I just literally wrap it one time, like so it's not tight at all, just to get the hair out of my face. Now for, I do a middle section and then like the top section. I'm gonna show you guys. So this hair, um, now that I'm done is still a little damp because it was up in a clip so I just like to blow dry everything like all the roots a little bit and then section it off again and I will show you what I do okay so now that I blow dried that a little bit I just take a section from this side so I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna dry my roots and then just do the same exact technique for all the sides Okay, so I hold it on the brush just so the curls kind of cool and when they cool they set so you get more of like a bounce when you let them just set. See that? See I let it sit a little bit longer so I got a bigger... Okay, and then I'm gonna let it down. See how 
the bounce is like a lot bigger. It's a lot more full in the the midsection of your hair instead of just the ends. It's a lot more bouncy all the way up. So I don't pin these sections back because I don't want to lose this volume. Um, so now the last section. So these are basically the most important pieces because they're right by your face and they're gonna frame your face. So when you blow them out, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna pull it forward. You're gonna pull it towards you. You're gonna pull a little bit up, a little bit down, on each to each side, just to get the most volume that you can and to make sure you really get a nice curl. So I'm gonna show you guys. So I just left it in there. Now I'm gonna take it out and just throw it back. Just gonna do the same thing for the front. Wiggle it out. <laughs> okay, then I usually figure out where I want to part it. So obviously, um, I just have to like kind of brush it through and just touch up depending on where I want to part it. So I think I'm gonna part it here, just so my calic doesn't really show. So I'm just gonna go over like a few pieces like this. Actually, maybe I will. Because then I could do a side part also. So I'm not even gonna blow out anything again. I'm just gonna touch up with my straightener. I'm just gonna touch up some baby hairs in the front with the straightener. So I'm just gonna go in and just straighten the roots and leave the ends. Same thing with over here. Okay, so this is the finished look. At the end, I will apply some more of the agave oil. Just to add some more shine. Tame some of the frizz up at the top. But yeah, that's basically it. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.